Day temperature around 50 degrees and kick. A little bit cooler in the shade. And it will be the 25 yard line to start for this Maryland offense. Leah will sling it, and he's got a first down out across the 45-yard line to his tight end. Second and eight as the Terrapins approach midfield. It's a good block to buy him some time in the backfield. Now the scramble and the ball is out, and the Golden Gophers have forced the first turnover. It's you're trying to find the quarterback. You're rushing the passer. You see the quarterback leaves the pocket. You got to retrace. And the Clemson transfer, Niles Pickney, who this defensive line. Now in his third year at the helm. And they'll go play action. Feeling some heat. Slings it deep downfield. And incomplete. And flags fly at the five-yard line. It's going to be pass interference on Jacorian Bennett. Kai Thomas, number eight, and Bryce Williams, number 21. They'll be interchangeable. All three backs do a little something different. Morgan. Ooh, quick to the outside, and the catch is made by Martin Bell. Four receivers, however, here on third down, and it is incomplete. Brown Stevens got a hand on it. Now it's way, and it is no good. Yeah, the coaches have really stressed being aggressive without being careless. And he'll throw it here to Jones, breaks a tackle out across the 45 and a first down. Really corralled himself, bring himself together to move forward. Coming off the bye week. Kunga Vailoa has a man wide open at the 25. Inside the 15-yard line goes Rakim Jarrett. All starts with the protection first, right? You get the protection. You get a little bit of a play action. Watch the linebackers. Everybody's looking at the run fake. Nobody's looking at Jarrett behind him as he streaks from one side of the field to the other. Can get a first down at the three. Kunga Vailoa underneath, and it's caught at the five by Okonkwo. Kunga Vailoa under pressure, drops it off underneath. And the swarming defense for the Golden Gophers is there, led by Jack Gibbons, their leading tackler. And this would be a 47-yard attempt on its way. And he's got it. Here early on. And now they will go ahead and run that football with Bryce Williams. Go to the three wide receivers in the tight end look. They will run it with Thomas, and he's got it across midfield for the first down. Morgan. Morgan on the rollout. He's got Bucko out of the backfield. Irving catches it on the move. The cutback at the 30. Winds his way down to the 21-yard line. Mike Sanford Jr., the offensive coordinator for Minnesota, talked to us this week about it. We've got to get Bucko more plays in the open field. He is our perimeter home run hitter. Morgan. Blocked. Out in the flat. Missed from 50, will try here from 37 to not up this game. And that one is good. Third penalty, 35 yards here in the first quarter. Third and long, Kunga Vailoa lost his balance as he hit the deck. And forced the Aaron pass. Anthony Pecarella to boot it end over end. Brock Anikstead lets it bounce a couple times. Morgan across the middle and caught by Ottman Bell, and that'll move the chain. So. Catching the corner is Thomas, and the first into the secondary. Kai Thomas run out of bounds at the 30-yard line. That edge for him, and he blasted through. It's crazy to say that this play was by Altman Bell, the wide receiver. And why is that? Because the corner on that side, Jacorian Bennett, number two. At the midway point of the season, they are on the move. And they will run it. Bucko Irving inside the 10. Shoved out of bounds at the five-yard line, and it's first and goal, Minnesota. Bucko Irving's in the game. Just to know that ball is going to go to the outside. He is trying to find the sideline, and no one is there. Just the speed that he possesses on the field. 
Seven guys up front. Kramer will keep, and Kramer will score. Touchdown, Minnesota. That's what defensive coordinator from Maryland talked about, Brian Stewart. we got to be in our gaps. Gibbons working off that right edge. Pressure coming right up the middle. Talia able to evade it a couple of times, and they finally bring him down. I counted maybe five. I think it was, you saw the pressure, the blitz right up the middle by Otomo. You see the effort again right there on that last they sack. Held Maryland to just 81 total yards so far in the half. They wanted to contain Tonga Vailoa. They've done that. They wanted to force some turnovers. They have one takeaway here in the first half. Morgan got his man across the middle. Ottoman Bell. Big hole up the middle. First down. And turning those legs inside the 40 is Bucko Irving. Huge hole right up the middle. Yeah, the Behind Olsen and Schmitz. You saw it too. Olsen and Schmidt, right? The right guard, I mean the left guard, the center. More of Irving, and a flag flies as he spins out of the first wave of attackers down to the 31. It's offensive wide the Minnesota Gophers have. The cutback, Irving, touchdown! I want you to watch number 65, the left tackle, Axel Rushmeyer. He's on the outside, and he just caved that entire Maryland defensive front. Out of the empty set. He'll call his own name, and he'll lunge forward for the first down Maryland and a gain of four. I mean, they were put on a test last week and they passed with flying colors. Minus 17, Adrian's worst running game of his career. The deep ball and it's caught at the 20 yard line by Marcus Fleming. By Tunga Vailoa. And why was that? Watch the protection. A little play fake, there's nobody around. For the first time, he had an opportunity to set his feet and throw a strike. Nice job adjusting to the ball by Fleming, but a huge play. Big hole up the middle. The cutback at the five and burrowing into the end zone. Watch number 65, Jahari Branch, the right guard. He gets up and boom, he puts a hit on the linebacker, Captain Jack Gibbons, number 47. I feel like my head's going to explode trying to watch everything at once. Stroud, your Heisman favorite right now? Yeah, well, he's in there. He's my conversation. Kenneth Walker is another guy yeah. from Michigan State. He's only got three catches on the year. This makes number four. And sometimes he's always going, give the dog a bone. Defense, number 12. 10-yard penalty. Repeat third down. We've got 1.30 to go in this first half and a third and seven for Minnesota. And they will run for the first down and they will get it. Kai Thomas breaking tackles and ankles down inside the 35. And they'll get the first down inside the 20. They'll send a man in motion, and they will keep it on the ground, and Thomas is blasted in the backfield. Yeah, Hazel, number 14, shot out of a cannon. Just watch him on the blitz. He defeats. And no urgency here for Minnesota to get off another snap on third and 11. And they will spike it with four seconds to go. The fans were hoping they'd go for the end zone. 38-yard attempt to close out the half. And it's blocked. Maryland gets to it. Tarheeb still kicks it forward, trying to scoop it. And that will take care of the first half. Special teams comes up big for Maryland. Just an, out, an outstanding job by Tarheeb still, number 12. He goes under that edge and almost Jacorian Bennett. Is that a walk-off in the bottom of the ninth that they got today? <laughs> yes, they did. Hey, Cole Kramer's in here at quarterback on short yardage. Takes a couple of hits. That's what we expect, right? <laughs> Halloween approaching and shake-ups in college football. Just to clear my eyes and make sure there was that many offensive linemen on the field. That's what Mike Sanford had talked about. Oh, got a wide receiver open in the flat and a first down to Ottman Bell. That's his fourth catch on four targets. There's no safety. 
Pressure coming. Morgan gets the pass away. It's caught for a first down. Inside the 10-yard line of block downfield. Three-by-one route. And watch just the breakaway. He sees that it's man coverage. And you get the switch. You get the safety and the linebacker have to switch. Brown Stevens catches and just takes off and run. Nice pick play by the official there as well. <laughs> well he's, he's helping out, I guess. <laughs> but for the most part, an outstanding play. And an offensive lineman in at fullback as well. Williams will follow it into the end zone. Touchdown. Well, I saw the, the offensive signal was bring in the big guys. And 65 right there lined up at fullback. He had the great block earlier as a left tackle. Keep it in his hands. Let him get the one yard for the first down. With Jared in motion. Fleet Davis caught in the backfield, and he will be short. Out of the eye. Tonga Vailoa on the rollout. The throw downfield, and it's incomplete at midfield. Schmitz barking out signals at center. The snap to Morgan. Couple of bounces to the outside for Bucko. Well, that's what Brian Stewart, the defensive coordinator, called this jumbo package, the Krispy Kremes. <laughs> Maybe he had some inside info. Thomas, good, patient run down inside the 10. Because these offensive linemen are sticking to the Maryland defense. No one can get off a block. Just look at all the gray shirt. 223 yards rushing. Looking for more. Good stiff arm. Bucko to the corner. Touchdown. Four rushing TDs from four different guys, Kirk. Yeah. <laughs> this is fun. When you watch the way they work up front. 31 to 10 on the strength of their defense and their rushing attack. They could have more points on the board, by the way, with a missed field goal and a blocked field goal. Second and 10. He'll take it himself. First down yardage in the slide out near midfield. I think you want to see more of this. All right, that's, that's, that's a direct snap to him and direct run. Tonga Vailoa caught for a first down and a flag thrown. Third down and 10. Tonga Vailoa's receiver went down and went to ground. Carlos Carrier, and it's fourth down. It was Bryce Williams the last time out. It's been Kai Thomas today. Three more yards. More on the ground. Irvin, first down. Stand forward will come in close to the line. We're going to try and run for it. Getting the edge and getting the first down is Kai Thomas. And it's been a tight-knit group, and it has had to be. Next man stepping up. Week in and week out. Kramer will run for the first down inside the 30 and 10 more. They'll try for more. And it will be fourth down. Kai Thomas gets the call there. This a 43-yard attempt out of the hold of Crawford. And that one will spin its way through 34 to 10, Minnesota. And the Turks have been trying to fight from behind all day long. Pressure coming, and they will get to Tonga Vilo and take him down. He's waiting for the snap. And he didn't care if the quarterback saw him, and he just comes through untouched. You, your scout team makes that you know you're elevated, you're on a travel roster. Next what? You're getting 15, 20 touches a game. That's just how it works. 66 play, 53 rushes, and there you go, Mark Crawford. First boot. And it chases the Terps back inside the 20-yard line. And a flag is down as the Terps return at eight <laughs> yards. First and 10 for the Terps back inside their own 10. Wow, Matau with the nice run out across the 25 19 yards and a first down foes penn state michigan state in michigan well i know halloween is next sunday but that's probably the scariest november i've ever seen i think the culture the kind of standard has been set it's just going to take a while tongue of iloa yeah this is going to be pass interference on philip howard you're down a couple of playmakers at the wide receiving spot and you're trying to figure out how do we create 
those opportunities and big time plays. Oh, big time hit from Chad Gibbons. Yes, he's the guy. The transfer from Abilene Christian. Oh, Loxley and the turf would love to have a little something positive happen late. Take with them. And say, look, we wish we had those guys, but we're going to work with the guys we've got. And they're flourishing right now. Third down, Tonga Vailoa into the end zone, the one-handed grab, touchdown, Marcus Fleming. Nice throw by Tonga Vailoa. Time. And that's a tremendous catch. He put that in between two defenders. That standard he talks about at Maryland, Coach Loxley has brought in guest speakers from all different walks of life. He's done team bonding. Now Kramer will run it right up the middle, down inside the 40-yard line. They had more rushes than the Terps had plays today. And there's your difference. 34 to 16 as the Golden Gophers will improve to 5 and 2. Terps will fall to 4 and 3.